After eight years of advertising on Facebook, we got hacked. And I mean bad. We've lost over $60,000. So let's talk about how you can avoid this happening so you never have to go through this and what to do if this happens to you. So I wake up to a text message that says this. And to be honest, I had no idea how bad this was about to get. So I jump into my business manager and I see that there are nine other admins on our business manager and I'm not one of them. So what this means since there are admins on our business manager is any one of those people can create new ad accounts, launch new campaigns, create new pages. They have total access to all our credit cards and everything that's going on inside of our business manager. But because the first thing that they did as an admin was remove me from being an admin, the only thing I can't do is stop them. All I can do is watch and document what is happening, but I can't actually do anything because they're all admins on my business manager and I'm not. So just a really quick note, if you have never heard of someone hacking a Facebook ad account or you have no idea why someone would do this, let me just run you through exactly what happens and what they're doing. So there are teams of really, really sophisticated people out there who are trying to get access to people's ad accounts. The reason why is because what they do once they get access to an ad account is they try to lock everybody else out. And then what they do is they try to launch as many ads as they possibly can typically to like affiliate offers or other different things out there that could pay them out if they're generating sales and they will get as much free traffic as they can because they're not paying for it somebody else is and they will just try to spend as much money as possible to these really crappy ads to these really bad offers just to try to get all the free affiliate money now Facebook knows this happens they have a whole team dedicated to trying to fix this and, and be able to clean out these accounts the issue is it's, it's extremely disruptive to your business so first let's talk about what you can do if you find yourself in this situation and then we'll dive into what you can do to just prevent this from happening in the first place so if you find yourself in the situation like I did and like many other people have where you wake up and you've got a bunch of other people that you didn't know were gonna be in your business manager in there and you're not an admin they're really limited to what you can do to prevent this from happening so you just want to go through a couple of steps in order to try to reduce as much damage as possible and also get Facebook informed on what's happening know that usually what happens is these guys will kick you out of the business manager manager all together so you will lose complete access but there is some kind of safety feature that prevents new admins from removing old admins within the first couple of hours I guess so you've kind of got a couple of hours to like try to clean things up as much as you possibly can this is what I was able to do so first thing I did contact Facebook immediately go to business.facebook.com slash help I think it is I'll put the URL down here you go there you put in a support ticket you let them know you've been hacked it's gonna take them a few hours if not a few days to get this whole process figured out but at least you've get the ball rolling and they know that you're being hacked and you're now marked into that category of hacked business managers or whatever that is. So the next thing you can do, disconnect any partners that you have contact with or that you have access to from their business manager. So this was probably the best thing that I did is we have clients we run ad accounts for. They're all attached, and attached to my business manager so my team can manage their ads, but we also had access to their business manager so we could set up pixels and share pages and all that stuff. So the first thing I did, the, all the hackers had access to my business manager. They didn't have access to my clients, but through my business manager, they could have had access to my clients. So I went into all my clients and disconnected all their business managers. That basically saved them from having any issues in the future because now all of their assets, you know, pages, ad accounts, pixels, all of that stuff, and mostly credit cards was disconnected from our business manager. So if you can do that, that's a really, really good move. The next thing I would suggest you do, put a freeze or just a complete hold on all your credit cards that you have inside of any of those accounts. If any of those are yours, they are going to try to spend as much money as possible as quickly as possible. And I'm talking thousands of dollars an hour and so probably the best thing you can do is take a look at any of the credit cards that you had inside that business manager that you've used in the past and depending on the credit card company some of them will let you put just a hold on a certain vendor so like if you have American Express like I did I could just call them and say hey we want to put a hold on meta Facebook ad spend and they'll just put a freeze on that one vendor or if you have other accounts like you know we also had some other accounts with uh, other people and there we just had to cancel the credit card entirely the hackers are really good about finding credit cards that are inside of these accounts so if it has been on there as like a primary or a backup source I would just get it deleted as quickly as possible the other thing I did that was helpful for us was just going into the ad accounts and just deleting any of the credit cards or payment methods so the hackers were able to spend money on our credit cards it's not like that saved us but at least what we did was made it a little more difficult and we got had that we made it so that there was no spending method on most of these accounts one last thing you could do is take screenshots of any of the account balances before the hackers start launching campaigns because what's gonna happen through this process is the hackers 
hackers are going to start launching campaigns and attempting to spend thousands of dollars an hour. And Facebook has a process to reimburse you for that spend so that you're not liable for what the hackers did. But the problem you can run into is like, you know, did you have a thousand dollar balance before the hackers started running? Was that a thousand dollar balance? Do you want to trust Facebook to tell you who spent that money and where that went to? So what I would do is take screenshots of any account balances that you have once the hackers are in there, because it's going to take Facebook 24 to 48 hours to get all those hackers out of that account. Presumably they're going to be able to get some campaigns up and spend some money before that happens. So I would take note of any account balances that you've got going on before that happens. All right. So let's talk about how to prevent this from happening in the first place. So the reality is if you do get hacked, if something happens to you, you're a victim of a very sophisticated hacking organization, right? We're not talking about an individual sitting in their basement somewhere. We're talking about teams of people in offices who are doing this all day, every day. They're very sophisticated. So if something happens, try not to feel bad, but you do want to take steps to prevent that from happening. So let's talk about what you can do right now. The biggest thing is two-factor authentication. That is going to be huge. So you want to make sure that that is set up on your personal Facebook ad account. And then in your business manager settings under security on the side there, there's actually an option to require everybody who is inside of your business manager to have two-factor authentication on. You want to make sure that you always have that required because that's going to require anybody who has access to your business manager to have two-factor authentication on. The next thing is you want to make sure you have really strong, unique passwords for everything. So for your Facebook, for your Instagram, but for everything that you do online. This is basically a requirement these days if you just don't want to get hacked for anything because reality is someone could hack a different platform and just figure out that that's the same password you're using on Facebook and now you have problems. So what you want to do is make sure you have really strong, unique passwords for everything that you do. I use one password for everything. This is like the most greatest software platform that I probably pay for every year. It's on my desktop, on my phone, on my iPad, on everything that I use. And then this gives you the ability to have really strong, unique passwords and then fill those in so you're not trying to remember them, but you've just got a password management platform that's doing it all for you. I would definitely recommend that you get set up with 1Password or I did a bunch of research between 1Password and LastPass. 1Password seemed to be the better one. So pick something, but make sure you've got really strong, unique passwords for everything that you're doing and including your Facebook account, right? Really quick though, before we jump onto this next point, if if you've watched a few videos on this channel, you're beginning value, please just hit that like and subscribe button because these videos are free for you to watch, but they do cost time and money for me to produce. So the more we can grow the channel, the more we can keep investing in making videos like this. So if you've been liking these videos, hit that like and subscribe. The next one is make sure you know who is inside your business manager and who has access to your stuff at all times. So it's really easy for all of us. Like we've had old agencies we've worked with, old employees, all of that stuff. They come in, they're not accessing anything anymore, but like, hey, maybe they'll come back later. We just leave them access or we don't think about it or whatever it is. You need to make sure that you clean that out regularly because what happens to most people, this is what happened to us. It wasn't my Facebook ad account that got hacked. It was someone on my team that got hacked. And I've talked to many people who get hacked because there was some old employee they forgot to remove. That person left the organization. Then their Facebook profile got hacked. They had access to their business manager. Now they just lost all their ad accounts. They're down for weeks. So it's a big issue. You want to make sure that you have always be aware of who's inside your business manager, what agencies, what people have access. If someone doesn't need access anymore, remove them. And then if they need access again later, share it with them again later. The next thing you can do is just keep track of what devices and what apps have access to your Facebook personal page. So on your Facebook personal page, under security, you can see where have you been logged in recently? What devices have access to your account? What apps have you allowed access to over time? Make sure that you keep an eye on that and keep that clean because you just don't want to let there be any loose ends or open devices that might be vulnerable because because if some of these apps get hacked, if anything happens there, that's how you could lose access to your Facebook account. And if you have access to any ad accounts, that's where the hackers are going to find those ad accounts and you're going to run into this issue. So just keep a close eye on like, where are you logged in? How are you logged in? What apps are you sharing access with? All of that stuff on your Facebook personal profile, because that's how they get access to the ad accounts is through personal profiles. And then the last one here is just make sure you train everyone on your team about phishing scams and just good cybersecurity principles. So I believe that probably the way that this happened was maybe some kind of phishing scam, but I don't honestly know. It also could have just been some kind of data breach where someone got a password from a different platform and that was the same one they were using for Facebook. I have no idea. I don't know if we'll ever find a way to know. It's just kind of, you know, something that happened, right? But the reality is like cybersecurity is just becoming a bigger and bigger issue. There's a lot more money in hacking people. Facebook doesn't have a really good protocol for like how to prevent this from happening. They're more reactive than they are, uh, you know, proactive about all this. And so that's kind of the issue, right? Like people are constantly hacking Facebook 
Facebook accounts, to get access to ad accounts, to spend money, to get free ad spend for affiliate offers. These are very sophisticated organizations. So make sure everyone on your team knows, don't click on links from, you know, scammy emails. We honestly have a, a rule that we just don't click on links from Facebook. If you get something from Facebook, it will also be a notification in your Facebook ads dashboard or in your Facebook profile dashboard. And so like only click on notifications from there. There's just way too many phishing scams with Facebook. Some of them look really, really good. So you want to make sure that you're being really careful what you click on, what you download as email attachments. Also, you know, if you have the same password out there anywhere, that's always a liability. So make sure that you're educating your team on really good cybersecurity protocols and you're just not letting, you know, everyone's aware of what's going on because this is only going to get worse going forward. So I mentioned that this has cost us well over $60,000. For us, in reality, what happened was the hackers were able to spend about $4,000 on our credit cards before I put a freeze on everything and stopped everything from happening. The real cost has been we have not been able to get access back to those ad accounts for over two months. It's actually insane. I've never heard of this happening before, but it's what's happening to us. So Facebook, their support is not great. There's no one to talk to. There's no empowered person to talk to. There's no one to really help you if you have an issue. So what Facebook did was they took us through the hacking support ticket protocol and they got the hackers out. They added us back into the ads manager. And since I had a really old ads manager, we had the ability to create up to 2,500 ad accounts. The hackers created 2,400 ad accounts. And all of them are disabled and Facebook doesn't want to clean them up or remove them. So we can't delete them or remove them. So I have 2,400 disabled ad accounts inside my business manager, which makes the business manager essentially useless. They, they think that we're bad advertisers. We can't create ad accounts. We can't launch new ad accounts. All our ad accounts are disabled still two months later. So after eight years of running ads on Facebook, um, we're still just trying to deal with the whole fallout of this. Here I am. I'm an ads guy. I've got a whole channel here about running ads. You know, I've run ads for years, but right now we just can't really run, I can't run any ads on Facebook. It's a, it's a been a big problem. So what you can do, take all of these steps to prevent this from happening because there's definitely fallout from it. And the big fallout is not necessarily the money that they're going to spend on your credit card. It's how long it could take you to get things back. I've heard a lot of people be down for like two, three weeks. I've heard people be down for six weeks. I am currently the record right now at eight weeks. So let's see how long this goes. I'm super confident we'll get it back. It's not really a matter of if it's a matter of when, but this is a huge headache. So the more you can prevent this from happening, the better. We've lost well over $60,000 in revenue that we could have generated in the last two months if we had been able to run ads, which brings up the most important point. You can never be dependent on one of these big platforms for all of your traffic or all of your sales. You don't control what happens on these big platforms. So you can run ads, you can do social media, you can do whatever. But the reality is any of these big social media companies, whether you're doing paid ads or you're doing organic or whatever it is, they could take you off the platform or change the rules at any moment. And there's not really anyone to talk to. There's no good support. So you have to be really intelligent about how you're making decisions based on the fact that we're kind of all renting space on these platforms as long as they will allow us to. You need to own your own traffic and you need to build something that you can control. And you'll never be able to control these big social media platforms, but what you can control is your email list. That has been our one saving source of revenue through this whole thing is we have email lists and we can mail those email lists. We have relationships with those customers and we can make sales that way. And so you need to make sure that you do the exact same thing too. So that's why it's important when you are running ads, when you are doing social media with all of this stuff that you're always focused on growing your email list. Now, if you want to get the exact strategy that we use to manage our email list so that we can sell online courses and high ticket programs, go ahead and click on this video right here. Because in this video right here, what I'll do is I'll show you and walk you through our exact email strategy that we've been using through this whole process. So click on this video right here and I'll see you over there.